Hello, in this video we're going to show you the filtering options within Excel. First we'll determine which columns you'd like to filter. We can select a single column, or let's go ahead and click this button to select the entire sheet. Then under the Data tab, we'll click on Filter. And now we can see that our columns have these arrows next to them, enabling us to filter them. In this case we've got 84 entries here, so for instance, let's say we want to filter out three specific values in the Property Use Code column. Just hit the arrow, deselect all, and click on the three values we'd like to filter out. Click OK, and it filters out the eight entries with those particular Property Use Codes. And let's say that we'd like to further filter out properties that are in Orlando only. So we'll do that, and now we've got four entries. If I'd like to save this particular list, I can click on this button to select the entire sheet, Control c to copy, come here to add a new sheet, and Control v to paste it. And now I can print or export this sheet, and so on. Let me come back to our original sheet here, and clear to clear the filters I applied and get back to my 84 entries. Now let's look at a more sophisticated filter if we'd like to sort our data in a very specific way. For instance, we'd like to sort this list by state, then within each state we'd like to order the list by city name in alphabetical order, and then from there we'd like to search by property use codes, from the largest codes to the smallest. So to sort by multiple criteria, I'll come here to enable sort by state, then come to sort by color, custom sort. I'll sort by state, A to Z, I'll add a new sort level, and sort by city, A to Z. And finally add a new sort level, property use code, and this time I'll sort it from highest to lowest. And it sorted the list accordingly. Along the top here, I can see which criteria it's been sorted by, by these little up sort arrows, or down sort arrows. And there you go, 